this is Jennifer, and we are out over at Burial Chamber Haunted House Complex in Nina, Wisconsin. And I am here with Matt Mars, and he is the owner of the Burial Chamber. So Matt, um, what year is this now that you guys are in operation? This is year number 12 now. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing it for a long time. So every year we keep getting better, we keep adding more and more stuff to it, keep growing, getting new employees, keep changing what they're doing, changing the haunted houses. We never rip anything apart, so we keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. And adding to it and yeah, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and better every single year. So if somebody was out here last year, um, can they expect a lot of changes or is there anything new that they should come out and see? You know what's crazy is we go, because the way we work, because the way our employees do their scares even, we've had people that go through the same night and get a different experience just because of the way that people are moving. We allow full mobility when they're in there. We don't tell them, like, you have to stay right in this spot or you have to scare just in this way, or you have to say these lines. We don't have anything that's prepared like that because I personally don't like it. I, I like variety. I like to have a different feel and a different sense to it every single time. So yes, of course, when you come out year after year, we continue to improve, we continue to change, we continue to modify things. And you know, if there's certain rooms that have been there for a long time, we'll, I say we never take them. Of course, we take those out, change them, we improve, we find a better, bigger and better thing to put in, which is awesome, we do that. So phobia, we've changed. We finally figured out what to do with it. We've been struggling for a little while trying to figure out how do you make phobia. I, I wanted a haunted woods. I want to have it a, but I don't want to haunt indoor haunted house out in the woods. I want to have a haunted woods. I want people to be able to experience what that woods feels like. And almost when you're on deer trails and you have these shant, just run down old buildings that are collapsing and caving in and. Um, so this year, that's what we've done. We've modified it now. So you go through, you actually experience buildings. You, you come in and these things are not in the best shape. They're dirty and they're run down. The walls are coming in and all these local crazy people are out there, um, out in the woods. And then you go back to the woods again. And now you're out in where there's nature, there's trees, there's bushes, there's stuff that's crowding the trails. And you feel like you're actually out in a horror movie. So the feeling is, it, it's the, the length of the haunted house seems much, much longer. The feel of it is so much better. And I think it's a really good platform for us to grow on. Um, and it really feels like Phobia finally found its home. So I, I, I like that. Insanity and Adrenaline, which are two other haunted houses. Um, those are the two indoor haunted houses, which actually are out in the, behind us right now. Um, we've modified both of those. We've added more stuff to them. Um, Adrenaline, the focus is zombies. We thought, you know, heck, people are all fired up about zombies, so great, let's do it. We'll, we'll do, it's under, not just under attack, but it's under zombie attack now, um, which adds just a whole new element to it where the, you know, the people are coming out and they're the bloody and the, you know, all, all tore up like that. Um, insanity, we've got more sex to it. There's more sex appeal, a little more skin and not in a terribly, not, I would still allow kids to come through it, not like that, but it's, it's a, it's a sexier, um, show, I think it, it, it seems to, you know, I, I, my, my big struggle and my big goal is making sure that we have three totally separate and unique experiences. I want to make sure that you don't feel like you're going through the same thing three separate times because why bother, you know? So, and we have groups of people that go through and they're like, well, yeah, the haunted house, it, you know, I ask them like, what, what, what was your favorite haunted house? And they're like, ah, adrenaline, you know, insanity, phobia in the same group, you know? And so, it really appeals to different types of people. It's not that they didn't like the other ones. It's just one stands out as that's what they really like. We still stick with our themes though. Every single year, for the most part, you know, yes, we got the zombies in there, but we, we try to get adrenaline to be the dark, scary, pop out, um, more of a just hit and move kind of thing, you know? Insanity is supposed to be more of an interactive, where they'll talk to you a little bit more, more colorful characters. You've seen the, I know you just went through it. It's a, it's a, the, the, the variety of characters is, uh, it's different. And phobia, it's, it's the horror movie feel. And what's strange with phobia now, it's, it's, it's changing a little bit. And I'm letting it change because I like, I like the feel of it right now. I'm, I'm, I'm letting it kind of evolve into its own thing. Our, our goal is still, I want you to feel like there's wild animals. I want you to feel like there's wild stuff out there. But yet, still feel like you got the crazy local people that are in the in the buildings and hunting you down almost, you know. So yeah, I got the crazy with the uh, scene of the outdoor toilets there that were pretty pretty funky. <laughs> oh yeah, they probably need to be cleaned, but that's all right. They they like that. They like the dirt and grime. It's perfect for them. So how many um, actors and staff does it take to put on these three haunts that you have? A lot. Uh, yeah, we have 
nightly we're running over 100 actors uh, and it, it obviously it varies depending on, we, we beef it up even more if it's a, a busier night busier busier weekend I, I've made the decision though I never want to run understaffed I never want to run so you come here if we're open on a Thursday or a Sunday I still want to be staffed I want to be fully staffed to make sure so instead of having everything open we close down phobia we just had the two indoor ones running so we're still running fully staffed for the haunted houses to make sure that the experience is still good and that people are really having a good time and the trouble is there's places are massive i mean they're absolutely huge 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 haunted houses i mean heck one of ours could probably fit for most people that claim they have multiple haunted houses they could fit all of theirs in just one of our haunted houses it's that big yeah it takes a lot of people to put it together it takes a lot of people to run it and uh I think it makes for a good show though. People go through it, they seem to have a good time with them. How much is admission and what days and times are you open this year? Uh, admission is $14 for one haunted house, $22 you need to go through two haunted houses, or $25 for all three haunted houses, which is a steal. That's a steal. Yeah, it's it's almost too cheap. And actually the best deal is to get the fast pass. There's an online time ticket, which means it's basically a fast pass. You just pick a time to get the fast pass. For 31 bucks, you go through all three haunted houses, you pick the time and done you're, you you don't wait in line you don't wait in all the long lines you just go to the fast fast which is awesome but there's a limited number for those online dates and times best bet is just to look at the calendar we're open all weekends in october it keeps building up as the and then we're also going to do november 1st and 2nd so do you guys have a uh, facebook page and uh, website absolutely so burialchamber.com um, and then facebook we've got a facebook forward slash burial chamber um, otherwise you can just type in burial chamber haunted house and you'll find us on there uh, we've got some special deals for people that are our fans on facebook um, so, and actually, the, the, we haven't done this a lot. We, I think we're going to start doing next year. We'll probably do more with check-ins and more with just ways to be able to. And if you're if you're a fan of us on Facebook, you should be getting more discounts. I just feel like you know what I mean. So, um, we'll integrate different discounts. We do have special deals if you are a friend. We'll we'll do special discount day just for Facebook. You know, it's, but only the people on Facebook will be able to see the, the discounts out there, so you can get tickets early and works out pretty good. Yeah. So definitely become a fan of them on Facebook and check out their website. And definitely come on out. These guys have done a tremendous job. I mean, we haven't been here in a few years and checked out Phobia, and it's completely different. So if you haven't been out here in a while, be sure to come on out and check them out. They are Burial Chamber Haunted House Complex in Nina, Wisconsin. But we, there's, there's a truck. Um, <laughs> We, excuse us, interview, um, we'll run along now. <laughs>